In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Owner of the day of judgment, you alone we worship, you alone we turn to for help. Guide us to the straight path, the path to whom you have bestowed your grace, not to the path of those who angered you, nor went astray. Amen. Okay. Today, we will discuss the science of grounding. But first of all, welcome to the podcast world. Welcome to the podcast. To join the podcast, send an email, a message, however you get in contact with me on this podcast. Send a message. Let me know that you would like to be a part of the show in any topic that I discuss. I will interview with you, and we'll go from there. Okay. Like I told you before in in the other episode, I would love to discuss the science of grounding with you all. Grounding the body, keeping the body ground, getting rid of inflammation in the body through grounding. You know, so what I do is, well, first of all, you study the science of grounding. Study it, watch you a couple videos on it. If it sits well in your life, apply it. If it sits well in your life, apply it to your life. You know, it said it sits well in my life, so that's why I applied it and I, I, I teach it. You know, that's why you're hearing this. So, the science of grounding. Good, good information. So, what I do is, I go outside and uh, I put my feet on the ground, whether it's grass or just straight dirt, mud, whatever it is. But for right now, I've just been doing grass. But if I get in in a part of geography where there's no grass, I'm still putting my foot on the ground. (coughs) Uh, I put my feet on the ground. I sit in a chair. Put my feet on the ground. Sit straight up in the chair. Now, sometimes you can stand straight up, but I sit. No cell phone. No anything in my hand. I sit. You can sit for 15 minutes just to, you know, begin to start it off. Or you could do an hour, an hour and a half, standing straight up. However you choose to do it, that's on you. But to do this, connecting to nature, getting out of the house with all this electricity going on and currents, electrical currents and this and wires and all that, Get out of the house. It's what I tell myself. Get out of the house. Go outside. Get some sun. You know, that sun is is, is, is good. Vitamin D. Good for you. Straight from the sun. Boop to the body. Get you some good sunlight, you know, in you. Get back outside. So that's what I do. I go outside. I sit in a chair, feet on the ground. Sometimes you 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 might think about the little bugs and stuff coming through the ground, the spiders and all that. That's gonna come to mind. But say a prayer, ask to be protected from those little creatures, and you'll be all right. So, and then if anything happens. Like, let's just say a spider bite. We know how to deal with a spider bite. You know, we know what to take for a spider bite. Push that little old venom right on up out of it. But we're not too much concerned about the spiders. Well, I'd I'd be a little bit thinking about them little spiders. I be thinking about them sometimes. Little creatures, man, would rock up on me and bite me. Uh, nah. But... I can't be scared of that. 
Cannot be scared of a little spider. I got to connect. So I'll be connected. I go in the backyard, sit down, give me some sunlight. I might record every now and then my sessions. So you will be be able to see me visual. I will put a visual behind these words. So as long as you stay connected with me, you'll be all right. You can see how I go. You'll see, you can see how I go. So, yeah, the science of grounding. Very good for you. Study it. Apply it to your life if it sets well with you. And we're going to be all right, people. You know, health is key. I always say that, man. Health is key. Once you, you take care of your health, everything else falls into play. So, I'm giving that to you. You hearing it? I appreciate your support by tuning in to this podcast. Tuning in, tune in. I, I, I must be more consistent. So tune in daily. If I get a nice feedback, nice views on this podcast, I will keep it going every day at 7 a.m. That's when it's supposed to begin. So I got to get on track with that. But let's keep it rolling. What else we going to talk about today? Well, me personally, just with me, just with me, what else we going to talk about? If you having any negativity going on in your world, negativity going on in your world, whether it's cheating, whether it's criminal charges against you, whether it's child support issues, whether it's fighting, whether it's social drama. If you're having negative issues going on with you, first, you must pray. Then, Raise your vibration. And when I say raise your vibration, see, some wouldn't understand or know what I'm talking about when I say raise your vibration and how important it is to raise your vibration. Soon as you get up, soon as you wake up and start your day, raise your vibration. Once your vibra- vibration is raised, then that deals, it, elim- it can eliminate a lot of negativity going on in your world. It can eliminate a lot of spirits that play mind games and write and scribble and show you different wicked and evil things to do and say. It can eliminate that if your vibration is raised. Raise your vibration. If your vibration is low, spirits, negative spirits will make you, evil spirits will make you do weird things that you wouldn't normally do. Like pick up a gun and shoot someone. When your vibration is low, a spirit of half negative frequency to come across you and have you pick up a gun and shoot someone with it. Murder. Jezebel spirit come in and make you murder if your vibration is low. So a lot of us don't know this, so that's why I must get it out there. If your vibration is high, that spirit don't come in on you. Your vibration is high. So it don't have you do wicked, weird stuff. So Make sure 
when you get up to rate, be thankful for a beautiful day that was created for us. Get you five minutes yoga in, meditation session, raise your affirmations, raise your vibration. You would have to study which order you put it in and how you do it, but it must be done. That way you have a positive, productive day. Positive, productive day. Raise your vibration. You can also listen to binaural beats. You can listen to binaural beats and raise your vibration. You can uh, connect with me and we can do sessions together. However you want to do it, just every day when you wake up, raise your vibration. Very important. And uh, what else are we going to discuss today? Because we only have three minutes left in the show. No music, just, just free mind, just a free mind day. Free mind. Brothers and sisters, stay positive. Stay positive. Anything that's negative going on in your world, in your life, remove it. Meditate. Meditation. While you meditating, close your eyes and ask the Creator to remove whatever is negative going on in your world. Ask Him to remove it through meditation. That's how you chop it up one on one with God. Allah. That's how you chop it up one on one with Allah. Whatever beautiful name that you give them, I call them by Allah. Or it by Allah. Let's not put a gender on it. But that's another discussion for anything. So, anything coming my way. That's another discussion for anything coming my way. But, uh, like I say, stay positive today. You know, stay positive. Do good deeds throughout the day. You in a public setting, speak to one another. Speak. Say hi. Say hi. Get the body chemistry moving in a different direction. Boop. Speaking to someone that you don't even know, they might, headache might leave. You know, we have power in our words, so speak. Appreciate life. Don't be negative. Don't feed into negative negativity. Stay away from the social chaos. Stay away from that. Stay away from putting your private life on the social chaos. I couldn't do that. I wouldn't dare do that. I wouldn't dare put my relationship on social. That's a no-no. That's a no-no. That's the biggest no-no in the world. If you do that, I'm letting you know that's a no, no. That's a no, no. If I'm in a relationship with a female or whoever I'm in a relationship with, I'm not putting it on social. Period. Period. Matter of fact, I don't even have a camera, a live broadcast going on in the home while we in the home together. That's a no, no. You invite the whole world into the living room. You don't even know these people. No, no, no. They don't even need to. They shouldn't even know that me and you dealing with one another. 